Hello there, my name is George, and this is a quick overview of the new browser stack and what you can do with it to make your internet experience more fun, more exciting, and more spatial. So to start off with the basics, let's go to a couple of websites. One way of doing that would be by clicking this plus icon right here and then typing in whatever keyword you want to search for. So one of the first things that you'll notice is that the icons of the open websites are going to be displayed right here on the spacebar. And another thing is that there are no tabs in Stack, and every website or app that you open is loaded in these card-shaped boxes that go next to each other. This is what we call cards instead of tabs, and the row of cards represents one stack. So right now, I have created a stack with two cards, Twitter and YouTube. To create another stack or another row of cards, I can click this plus icon on the spacebar and repeat the process. Let's say Wikipedia and um, a shopping website. So right now we have already created two stacks, but for the best visualization of what we have done, I can go to the space view. Right here in the corner of the space bar, I can click this button, and right now I see every card and every stack that I have created in this workspace. So the cool thing about the space view is that while here, I can navigate with one key shortcuts. So right here, you can see that I have a new visual element that we call the yoke. It is like a steering wheel inside stack, but it also serves as a cheat sheet of what keyboard shortcuts you can use in this instance. For example, you can see that there's WASD. If I press these, I will navigate with one key shortcuts. I will move around between the cards in this workspace. If I press Z, it will make one of my cards sleep. And if I press enter, it will just go to the card that is active. Now I can just press command escape once on Mac or Windows key escape on Windows. And once the yoke appears, I can move with one key shortcuts and navigate the whole stack and also control it. For example, if I want to resize the active card where I'm at, I can press the number keys. Five means 50%, seven means 70%, and so on and so forth. Now let's go to the space view again. And while we're here, we can actually switch between different spaces. So for example, this right here is the space that we just created, but I also have another space for my home related stuff and another space for my office related stuff. So the way I use spaces is to sort and organize different cards between them based on their purpose or context. For example, if I'm in the office space working on my office related stuff, I do not want to be distracted by the notifications coming from my home apps. And also this way, the applications in my home space will not be consuming my computer resources. Another cool feature that I want to show you is called the profiles. So let's go to the Twitter card that we have opened here and let's duplicate it real quick with Command D. And now you can see that in the top right corner of every card, there are these three dot menus. If you go there, you will see what profile is this card associated with. Right now, the profile of this card is main, which means that my personal Twitter account is for the main profile. Now, if I change the profile and set it to stack, it will log me out and it will bring me to the login page. Now, if I log in with my company account on Twitter, I will have different accounts of Twitter side by side. I can have two, three, four, unlimited number of different profiles inside stack and unlimited number of different profiles for the same website or the same application side by side. And the final thing that I want to show you today is the special assistant at Stack that we call special. Uh, you can call it by pressing Command L on Mac or Control L on Windows, and it will serve you as one shortcut for everything. For example, if I want to change the theme, I can start typing theme and then choose whatever color theme appeals to me most. If I want to change spaces, I can also do it with special. For example, go to Office Space. Or if I just want to run the guide and see what is done how in Stack, I can start typing guide, press enter, and it will give me the cheat sheet for everything that you can do inside Stack. Thank you so much for watching. And there's so much more to explore within Stack than what I was able to show you in this short video. So please go ahead and try everything and let us know what you think about the existing features, as well as what are your expectations in terms of the upcoming features in Stack. 
Hope to see you soon again and enjoy stacking.